What's up guys, Jaxel here. Uh, another Zen 402 video for my the next add-on I will be releasing, which is my Zencarta Wiki software. Um, this is actually my least most popular add-on. Only 33 people have ever purchased it. So if you're wondering why it's been taking me so long to port this add-on over, that's why. I mean, I don't expect to recoup, recoup any costs for this. Uh, this is pretty much because my community uses it. And uh, I know a f select few of you have been asking and wondering what's taking so long, but that's why. Anyways, this is the front end. This is my index page. Uh, before I really talk about the front end, I want to talk about the back end, though. Um, I've imported all of my data from the Zen 401 version. So I've got all my templates and all my pages already in the system. I've also got our options screen. There, there, there's less options as has been a recurring theme with uh, a lot of my add-ons for the Zen 402 version. I'm actually reducing options to reduce uh, clutter and confusion on what all the options do. So the options page is smaller, simpler, and less for people to really figure it out. All right, so uh, let's look at templates. Templates pretty much the same as the old one. They're templates that people can reuse uh, in their uh, on their pages. So if we head to uh, the templates tab and look at uh, character info box large, we can see the HTML down here as well as the code to use to add the template. Uh, to your page as well as all the variables that you can set all right so you can also give names to templates and that makes it easier for the front end so people know what each template does that that's new to this version all right so let's look at pages uh, by default when you go to your wiki it's probably going to show a page not found error uh, because you need an index page and until you have an index page you actually don't have a wiki so the first thing you're going to want to do is add an index page so you just go to link URL put an index give it a title and select the page type BB code HTML or PHP file um, these page types are cannot be edited from the front end so if I were to look at uh, this uh, page and click edit there's no option to change the page type here. Uh, changing the page types should not happen often, and someone on the front end shouldn't ever really have a reason to do it. So I left it in the back end only, so only administrators can change page types, and you can do that by clicking the page type, as well as changing, you know, the other information. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the it's it's pretty much the same from the front end when you create a page, you can only create BB codes or HTMLs though for the same exact reason there's no there's no reason for non administrators to be making PHP pages so so you can't uh, PHP pages I know um, people didn't quite understand how to use them in the old version um, so I made a, a test script here this is the Zen 402 system requirements test uh, PHP file it just echoes out the screen uh, I just upload it and uh, put the URL to the f or the uh, path to the file as a PHP file right there. This is a relative path. You can also use absolute if you want. So it's just Zen4 requirements.php. And when you go to the page, it just echoes out what the script has. So that's that makes it very easy to embed PHP pages directly into your wiki if you need them. All right, so we've we've got our pages here. Each page has a series of options in addition to the content of the page, uh, the parent node. Now this is the index page, so let, let's let's change that because the index page you can't change a lot of these settings. All right, these images are broken because uh, this is my test site and I didn't copy over the images from the my old site. So we've got our parent node. You can select what the parent is, redirects. You can have it redirect to a different page. So if we were to go to Aeon, which is a redirect page, it'll say Lizard Man redirected from Aeon right here at the top. 
And we've got our family tree, all the Lizard Man pages below it. I mean, this frame data page for Lizard Man should actually say uh, Aeon frame data SC5, but whatever. All right, let's go back to the options. Mark page as protected. If we go back to our index page, you'll notice that there is a lock symbol next to the uh, page tab. That's because it is a protected page, and protected pages can only be edited by user groups who have the... Hold on, where is that? Uh, manage pages permission or uh, are marked as managers in the permission section of the edit page screen which uh, you could do by usernames or user groups simple stuff all right and we also have show sidebar on page which is this so there are certain pages that don't have sidebars uh, so let's go to SC5 frame data for this guy. And there's no sidebar for this page. I intentionally make it so that our frame data pages don't have sidebars because it's a lot of information and the sidebar uh, cuts out on a lot of room to, for horizontal space. All right. So uh, we also have the show child's page list, which is this sub pages bar right here. So on my wiki index, it doesn't show that because we have a sidebar here and that's got the children right here. Generally, you don't need to use the sidebar and the child page list at the same time. So like this one, ha Aeon has the sidebar and the child page list. It's not actually essential, uh, but there are options for it. Index position. Index position is how... Uh, pages show up on the index widget you'll see I only have seven pages and these are all set to index position one so that they're in alphabetical order you can of course order them based on the number of the position as long as it's greater than zero because having it set to zero makes it not show up which is uh, simple enough and then of course the permissions we already spoke about all right so on each page, in addition to the page itself, we've got the likes bar at the bottom so people can like pages. Uh, I mean, it's completely superfluous because no one earns these likes because this these likes because this is a public page that is owned by nobody. Uh, we also have our history tab so you can see all the changes. You can even do a hard comparison, so compare versions. This uses the Zenforo uh, uh, diff comparison engine. So if you use Zenforo, you know how that works. And then there's the edit screen, which we've seen already, as well as the discussion tab, which is just a, a thread. And the watch and unwatch link. Beyond that, there's not really much else to talk about. Uh, this is a very simple wiki software, and it's very light software. Um, there is a caching system. So let's go here. And the biggest page on the wiki, I believe, is Yoshimitsu. Or, yeah, Yoshimitsu Soul Calibur 2. That's a guess. Um, this is actually the biggest page on my software. Uh, if we go to the edit tab, we can see it's got a lot of templates that it has to process when this page loads. But we do have uh, uh, a cache expiration of seven days. So once every seven days, or after each time the page is edited, the cache will be refreshed. And uh, let's see, with the cache, Let's see how long it takes to load this page. It takes you know, a quarter of a second to load this page. Let's disable the cache. Set that to zero. And let's see how long it takes. I mean, it's still loaded fast. Huh? Well, still, you know, a quarter of a second, a fifth of a second. Yeah, all right. Well, I did a lot uh, improving the performance of this version, so I guess the cache really isn't that needed that much anymore. But the cache is still there just in case your pages get really ridiculous. And oh no, I'm in the wrong page. That's that's why I thought I was in 
All right, this page with the cache takes 0.2 seconds. And without the cache, still takes 0.2 seconds. Well, like I said, I've. Oh well. Caching is still nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah, this is light software. The reason why is. The reason why I made this software is I didn't like uh, other wiki softwares because other wiki softwares, I felt that they didn't process templates fast enough. As you can see, that my com my community uses a lot of templates because of the way we do information gathering and things like that. So that was very essential. And on uh, a lot of other softwares, that Yoshimitsu page was taking 30 seconds to process each time. And they didn't have caching systems, at least not built in. Uh, so we've got that here. Um, I always felt that other wiki softwares were too bloated. They always had all these features that I no one really cares about. So this mine just doesn't have those features, and I'm generally not going to be adding any features that unless they are specifically requested by you guys. So if there are features you need, please let me know, and I will consider it. Anyways, peace out, and this will be releasing soon.